Hey, look at that. Seven o'clock on a Monday morning. Woohoo! Okay, maybe you're not that worked up yet, but I am. Today, don't be married to the idea. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, stick around. If you do and you think you've heard it before, you haven't. So you need to stick around too. We'll get to that right after this. Don't go away. Okay, buttons, don't fail me now. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. You know, sometimes I think all that energy I put into the open gets wasted because... Facebook doesn't show it to people unless they're watching on the replay. If you are watching on the replay, let me know. In fact, if you're watching live, let me know that. Whether you're watching live or on the replay, either way, leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning. Let me know that you were there and that you made it through the weekend. Even though for a big bunch of you, your team didn't win, it was still a great weekend, wasn't it? So, uh, we are here, bright and shiny. A little overcast here, but in our hearts, it's bright and shiny this morning, and we're going to make it a great day. Best day ever, in fact, because it's the first working day of December. That means you have less than 30 days to finish all of your goals for the year if you haven't gotten there yet. And if you haven't gotten there yet, I've got something for you at the end of the show, so stick around. Today, don't be married to the idea. As with most days, this originated with a quote. This one from Jack Dorsey, the guy who runs Twitter. So maybe he's figured out a thing or two. I don't know. Everyone has an idea, but it's really about executing the idea and attracting other people to help you work the idea. Normally, I say, ideas are worthless. Execution matters. And in fact, Jack agrees with me here on this, but I'm going to pick on something else that he said this time. It's about attracting other people to help you work the idea. It's one thing, in fact, I usually say your idea is worthless until people start to pay you. In fact, the written part that goes along with today's show talks about that, where, where he, that, that somebody taking out their checkbook, taking out their credit card, swiping the card, writing you the check, giving you the cash, that's a pretty good indicator that you got a good idea, right? Well, here's another idea. How about how many people can you get behind you? I have said... A hundred times, if I've said it once, maybe a thousand times, that in, in several times throughout history, people have motivated, leaders have motivated people to pick up sticks and rocks and charge the castle walls because they had a good reason why. I mean, that's all it takes, right? Have a good reason why. And if you have a good reason why, and you can convey that, and you can express not just the idea, but the emotion behind achieving it. I'm really fired up on this idea of gratitude here over the last week or so. And how gratitude is not saying thank you for what's already happened. What's already happened is over this way, if you haven't picked up on that yet. It's not about saying thank you for what's already happened. It's about saying thank you for what is happening. You just haven't gotten there yet. Right? Kind of like I use the analogy on Friday, taking a sip from coffee. I know I'm about to have coffee. Right? I can be thankful for that. In the same way, you know that you have the outcome that you're working toward. Whether it's 99 subscribers or three new clients or whatever it is for you. It's already there. In the grand scheme of space and time, it's already happened. You just have to set a course to intersect with it. Right? That's it. That's all. You just, it, it's there. You just have to go get it. You, way too often we sit here and say, okay, here I am. Bring me all the goodness. Well, the goodness is over there. Maybe you should go over there to get it. Just saying. Don't be married to the idea right? 
Be married to the outcome. Right? Be consistent with the outcome and flexible in the execution. Everyone has an idea, but it's really about executing the idea and attracting other people to help you work the idea. If other people get behind you, if other people get interested and they get excited about your idea, let me tell you something. Now you're on to something. But if you share it with people and they go, oh yeah, that's nice. Mm, Got to keep working it. It's just, like, it's just like selling a product. People don't buy your stuff because they don't want it. Now let's work on why they don't want it. Either they don't see the value, it doesn't solve a problem, it's not, the, you know, the price is outside that, that expected value range. I mean, there's something wrong with it some, or something wrong with the way you're presenting it or positioning it. We have to fix that. Again, that's movement, right? Progress, movement toward a goal. There's my goal over there. I need to move toward it, not sit here and wait for it to move toward me. Because look, if I'm lined up right here and my goal is lined up right over there and time is moving, it's going to move right on past me. And I can sit here and wave to it. Hey, it'll pass me right on by. Don't let that happen. Move toward it. Step lively. Set the intention to achieve it. Take the steps necessary to get there and then intersect with it. And I've, I've, I, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm this close to having pretty good bit. I've been working on this gratitude thing for a week or two. But I'm, re I'm really close to this fulfillment thing too. And I, I'm, I'm going to hit on that before the end of the year. I promise maybe before the end of the week, but mm, it's almost there. I think I got it. No, I think I've got it. Just got one, one or two more things to work out. So today, as you are going through your day today, I want you to think is this idea that I'm pursuing, can I get people behind it? When I share it with people, do they get excited? And let me tell you something from personal experience. There is nothing more validating and more personally affirming than to share your idea with somebody and they look at you and their eyes open up and go, wow, that's a really good idea. Yeah, that, what, uh, what, what does it take to be a part of that? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Man, that is some good stuff. Got to get out there and meet it. It's right over there. You just have to go get it. That's all. What are you waiting on? So as you go through the day to day, are you married to the idea? You're married to the outcome. The idea that this is how to get the outcome could be wrong. Don't be married to the idea. Be married to the outcome. And a great way to tell is to share it with other people. Even if they don't get excited about it, even if they don't back you up on it, they might turn you on to somebody who will. But if you never share it, you never connect, you never make it happen. That's it for today. Hope you guys have a great Monday. Oh, and I promised I'd give you something. We are less than a month away from the end of the year. If you are stressed out about being able to finish the year well and start 2020 strong, um got something coming up for you tomorrow night. I want you to be sure and stay tuned. I'll put out a, 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 a link, an event. I'll put out a, an event today that uh, and share that with you, but only if you're following me here. If you're not following me here, then I, I don't know who to send it to. Um, we're going to help with that. We've got something put together that's going to help with that. That comes out later today. Be sure and be on the lookout for that if you don't see it by tomorrow. By all means, throw a hand grenade at me. Say, hey, what are you doing? Uh, talking behind your own back? Get kind of getting behind? Yeah, okay, I guess, sort of. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a magnificent Monday. Be as energetic and pumped up about today as I am. Today is another great day to go out and crush it. You go out and crush it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.